Uh, hello, sir. It's a pleasure uh, meeting you. And I've been following you from uh, Garjamai days. And uh, I think you are uh, the first uh, Pan-India star, I believe. And uh, now we have seen many people who are Pan-India, but what is the code that you used at the time so that, uh, just like, you know, uh, at the time so that you became such household name at the time? Because at the time, <coughs> to be frank, the South Indians, they were, uh, there was not much opportunities. So what did you do differently so that you became household name? So before me, Kamal sir has also uh, been a pan-Indian actor. I think Chiranjeevi sir also has done Hindi films and been successful at it. I think the advantage I had at that time is I knew to speak Hindi with the right accent because I was born and brought up there. So the acceptance was much faster. Also because I had done Hindi series that, uh, that gave me a jumping uh, board out of which I could get into their uh, attention. Thankfully and God's grace, I also did films that became iconic from Rang De Basanti to Three Idiots. So they, even though when they accepted the film, they also accepted the actor. I was not particular about only playing the main hero. My selection of subjects uh, or whether I did breathe or decoupled, all that became a, uh, you know, a, a part of my acceptance as a pan-India actor. But, but more than that, today's world is kudos to the Telugu actors who have done it. You know, Allu Arjun, Prabhas, my friend, uh, uh, Rana Dagupati, every one of them, Mahesh Babu sir, every one of them are actually becoming exemplaries and people around uh, India are look, looking up to them with big fan following in the north. And that their achievement, I think, is much bigger than mine because they didn't do it in the native language. They did it in their language and still became uh, superheroes for India. So they have, a, they have much bigger an achievement than mine. But thank you very much uh, for this. I'm really happy. I hope you join us for tea. Hi. And, uh, uh, yes, sorry. Just one last one. Last question. one? Okay, ma'am. Yeah. All right. Um, I'd like to say that you're as good as an orator as you are an actor. It's always a pleasure to hear you speak. Thank you. So um, my question to you is, uh, does genius always come with a price? Do you believe that? And another one is that because you've directed this film, You've explored a storyteller side to you. Of course, actors are also storytellers, but as a director, you see the bigger picture. So do you want to explore that side more, or do you look forward to directing more films? Well, first of all, thank you for your compliments. It's <clears throat> very touching. Uh, secondly, yeah, there's a price to pay if, if you're a genius or there's a genius in your family. And I think the price paid for having a genius in your family is far more than being a genius. Because I think when you're a genius, you have you share the same uh, uh, qualities of of a of a um, insane person. You don't really care what the rest of the world thinks, and so you're not burdened by it as much as the person or the people living with and around you.